a seated rear delt fly. Contrary to many of the popular rear, rear delt fly variations, we're gonna modify this a little bit. So, so many people, when they perform this movement, they're in a seated position, bent over, they have dumbbells, and they're doing literally a fly with their arms relatively straight, maybe slightly bent. We're gonna change the movement up and take advantage of knowing our origin and our insertions of our posterior delt muscle. So we're gonna create relative motions, which are gonna stretch and contract that muscle as much, as much as possible and put more load into the posterior delt versus all the surrounding musculature. So, seated, we're gonna take some dumbbells, and in this position, we're gonna lean forward. I'm gonna start by bringing my elbows back, almost like doing a row variation, and I'm slightly bringing my elbows off my side not nearly as much as I would on a normal fly, but I'm creating external rotation as we do that because our posterior delt, it abducts or abducts our body, horizontally adducts our body, and externally rotates the humerus. I've been saying body, I mean humerus, excuse me. So the idea is we're trying to combine all three of those motions. <clears throat> so I'm going up. So a front on view is as I get here, you'll see that I'm not getting my arms way away from my body. I'm slightly bringing my elbows away from my body, but my, my forearm is rotating out wider than my humerus, and that's creating that external rotation, which is gonna bias that <clears throat> posterior delt. <clears throat> 